claws, scales, teeth, and tails. There's a place in Medford where alligators and snakes have taken over. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lorison travels to the Rad Zoo as it celebrates 15 years in Steele County. Who's hungry? It's feeding time for Sally and Allie. This is Allie. She's a big girl. And with every bite of chicken comes a fast fact about alligators. She would bite harder than a grizzly bear at this size. Oop, there we go. Hey, oh. uh -uh, back up. They got me to move. They are just a couple of the creatures that get your attention at the reptile and amphibian discovery zoo. Also known as Rad. She would easily take my finger if it went in the wrong spot there. Jamie Pastica is the man behind it all. Just giant. He was born in northern Minnesota, but mostly grew up in Florida and became a zookeeper at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Anna likes the neck rubs. She does. Then one day, he and his family decided to leave the swamps for the land of 10,000 lakes, and they brought along a few of their friends. The scaly and slimy are our primary focus here, and um, I had gone to reptile gardens when I was six years old. I thought that was the coolest place on earth. From poisonous dart frogs to a green anaconda. They move underwater just like an eel. Nearly 300 creatures of various shapes and sizes live here. Hello. No two are the same, but many have something in common. This is Luis, the boa constrictor. He's 30 years old and 8 feet long. And like many of the animals here, he was rescued by the zoo. That includes a call to take Justin Bieber's former pet boa constrictor. Jamie thought it was a prank at first, but it turned out to be very real. One day in December, I got a box with a boa, a very chilly boa constrictor in there. I'm like, oh, wow. He loves attention. He loves when I'm talking about him. A big part of what they do here is conservation and education. Boa constrictors like to live up in the trees. While the animals take field trips to schools, oftentimes the students visit them. I was like, wow, it's so cool right here. What was your favorite animal? The crocodiles. Oh! Just to see the look on the kid's face when they get to see an animal that they've seen on videos or on YouTube and they get to just hold one. I mean, it's just kind of a cool thing to watch. Jamie and his family hope visitors leave with a new appreciation for reptiles and amphibians because for them, work days are always a snap. I'm going to give her a little. Oh, when your dog doesn't want to go to the vet, that's one thing. When your 500 pound alligator doesn't want to go to the vet, it's rodeo day. In Medford, with photojournalist Tom Avillis, John Lordson, WCCO News. The Rad Zoo is located in the Medford Outlet Mall and it is open seven days a week. Jamie's family also runs a YouTube page where they educate people about their animals.